Well, good morning guys and welcome back to a frosty March here in southern New Brunswick. Today, we're going to talk about the obvious thing that's happening around the world today. So stay tuned. So usually once a month, I will come on and give you guys a little bit of a lot update and let you know some of the things that have come and gone on the lot. Well, about two and a half weeks ago, somebody turned the tap on. We got busy, we sold several vehicles, and we took a couple of trade ins. But at the end of the day, when this whole you know what came about and restrictions started being placed on us, well, all of a sudden the tap shut off. What does that mean for old car auto sales? Well, it means in the car sales aspect of it well let's back up in new brunswick we are in a state of emergency which basically means all non-essential businesses have to close and what's a non-essential business for instance well retail bars restaurants granite restaurants can be open for takeout only no gatherings hairdressers Basically, anything that you might see in a mall that doesn't sell food would be closed. So, basically where we sit is we are classified as a essential service because of our service department that we have out back. Granted, it's not that busy. So, as far as sales go, well, we haven't been doing much sales, just finishing up on a few things that we had left over from the last couple of weeks. We've done our part. We've been wiping down all of our surfaces. We've spread chairs apart in our waiting room because, well, the six foot rule, as far as social distancing, we try and keep people set apart. In my office, I've only got one chair for one customer instead of two. Same as in Bill's office. Out in the shop, things are pretty quiet out there too, like I said. Uh, we've only had a handful of appointments this week. Next week, I've got one. Uh, today and tomorrow, this is Thursday. Uh, I don't have any at all, so that means we don't have any appointments booked, and we're likely going to be brushing up on our card playing skills over the next several weeks. And even out back, any of the projects that we have, of course we do have the one car out there which is a customer's car just waiting to pay his bill, and he should be in today. Uh, we've got nothing lagging behind. Now we do have a couple pieces here on the lot that we've got to do a little maintenance on, but other than that we could have that done probably before lunch today. New Brunswick being under a state of emergency has done a lot of things, a lot of good things. Although I feel bad for the businesses who have had to close, and in fact, one of our biggest competitors, which is just down the road, is a used car dealership that does not have a service department. He's had to close. And, you know, as bad as everything gets you never want to wish that on anybody competition or not I don't generally like to get very political when I talk about things but I do want to commend the New Brunswick and the Canadian governments for stepping up and doing what they've had they've approved a huge stimulus package that will help small businesses like me that will help my employees that will help me should we have to close they've also in the province of New Brunswick just yesterday have declared all inter-provincial travel unnecessary uh, banned meaning if you leave the province and come back into the province or if you're not from here and you come here and come back you're gonna have to self quarantine for 14 days and I know a lot of people out there don't know what to think about this whole thing and think that the governments are overreacting and to that I say, yeah, maybe. But at the end of the day, wouldn't you sooner have them overreact and save thousands of, hundreds of thousands of lives than do nothing and watch people drop? So I guess for now, despite the fact of how hard it's hitting us, I guess I'm in favor of it because my wife and I both are at risk people. Um, I have asthma, she has diabetes, and that puts us at risk should this become a bigger pandemic than it already is. So 
that's where we stand as far as a lot update we're basically shut down I mean we're open but we're just not doing very much business when people can't go to work they're not spending their money so I get that but nevertheless we've got enough to sustain us for a few months should uh, business stay this quiet meaning if we don't sell anything so another lot update will come as things progress or get better or even get worse and I'll let you guys know how things are but in the meantime I will continue to be making videos because uh, next week we are going to start on the small block chev rebuild for project Dale which uh, should give us some good content for a little while and you guys all know that I started this channel based on the dealings of the dealership here and well if there's no dealership I guess it really won't matter as far as videos go because we've changed up our videos to working on projects anyway so at this point I just want to say thank you to everybody who is following the rules who is social distancing when they have to go out who is staying home and you know not exposing yourself or getting exposed to others if you've traveled and you came home and you self quarantined thank you and if you haven't well you're an idiot and I hate to be so blunt but I have to look after my health and you should be considering those around you if you don't care about yours well then that's fine but you need to be thinking of other people who may be at high risk and not contributing to this problem anyways guys thanks so much for listening to me vent a little bit and give you the update on what's going on around a lot here stay focused on the windshield not the rear view mirror I love you guys God bless stay tuned for the next video we'll see you soon